Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Cons Vlogs. We're back with another video, you guys. So, I'm sure you just got a little sneak peek. That was completely unintentional. But the SS has received a few upgrades, and we're going to be talking about it today. You guys remember the last um, video I uploaded? The SS was actually going to Premiere Performance because it was having some issues um, in the lower RPMs. It was sputtering a lot. It wasn't making a lot of power top end either. You could tell it was it was off. We got it fixed. The guys down at Premiere took great care of it. Shout out to Heath and Brock down at Premiere. They did a great job on the car as always. I'm gonna talk about what was actually wrong with it and how we fixed it. And it actually ended up picking up like a lot more power than I expected. It's, it's phenomenal, it's a beast. And we also did a little cosmetic mod to it that you're gonna see in just a second. So let's get a nice startup of it. We'll talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on and maybe get some action in tonight. little pop for your night. know the Camaro right the one LE wing pretty nice there it's like the ZL1 wing I added this wicker bill from ZL1 add-ons looks fantastic changes the whole look of the rear end of the car the SS SS's have a puny stock wing it's wimpy and it looks weak I had to change it and I did Maverick Man Carbon we ordered like the duck bill style and it looks great let's have a look So yeah, again, Maverick Man Carbon hooked it up with that. The fit was perfect. There was actually already holes in the trunk. Um, I believe that was for the GTS spoiler from Australia. That mounted up perfectly with the wing that we ordered from Mav Man. Great fitment. We had it installed by a local shop, um, if you're from Utah. Old School Body Shop was the shop we went through. We always go through those guys. They do great, great work. Apparently, it was quite a pain to get it to sit right uh, with the bolts, and they were the bolts were too long, they had to repaint the thing like three times, but they made sure that it was done right, you guys, and that's what matters. It looks phenomenal. There's no like, there's no gaps. It fits perfect, it's snug on there. So I'm super excited about that. It looks super good. I'm gonna have to do a photo shoot of it here pretty soon, maybe even tonight. I'm actually talk about the power that we got from just fixing the car. I actually decided we might as well talk about it right now while we still have some light in the sky. So you guys remember, we were thinking that it was fueling that might have been the problem um, because we're still on the stock fuel system, stock fuel pump and all that jazz. A um, lot of power for a stock fuel system on an SS, but we were pushing it. Car was stuttering a lot, wasn't making as much power as it should have been. Um, we took it down to Premiere. Uh, the tuner down there, Heath, great guy, does an awesome job at tuning. And he's like, hey, I think you might have a bad math sensor. So we switched out the MAF sensor. So this was the old intake tube right here, okay? Silicone, this one was custom fab. Um, my JDP Motorsports, it actually did a great job. Um, this wasn't even the real problem. Um, it was the MAF sensor, as I mentioned. But now, we got this out. So, yes. So this is the old one, and then I went to that new metal one, and it's bigger. So, here, here's the old MAF sensor right here. So, we actually went to a little bit bigger, I think it was like half an inch bigger intake tubing. Um, we kept the Rotofab um, air filter and air box, as you can see right there. We kept all that on. We actually ended up drilling a hole in the front of the air box um, in the box that the filter sits in. Um, so it pulls air from up front, obviously. Um, and then that box keeps it from pulling hot air from the back of the engine. So you get cooler air, which equals more dense air, which equals more power baby. So they threw it on the dyno. And if you remember before, the car put down 694 wheel horsepower. 
It picked up almost 30 wheel horsepower. We're putting down 719 rear wheel horsepower now, you guys, just by fixing the MAF sensor and a little bit bigger intake and then a retune. Um, the methanol comes in way sooner. I'm hoping that we can kind of move away from the methanol um, as I, you know, hopefully get my hands on the car. Um, but yeah, so making more power, it's more reliable, it drives so much better. Um, again, I just can't tell you how good of a job they did. It's a whole new car and it looks new now thanks to Maverick Man and Old School. So we're gonna hop in, we're gonna take it for a couple rips maybe, maybe, that's allegedly, I'm not, I'm not condoning anything illegal. I do love that car. So yes, yeah, so luckily it wasn't the fueling system. Well, I say luckily, but the, f the fuel system is something I wanna do at some point anyways, maybe just do an auxiliary pump because 720 wheel horsepower is a lot, but uh, I kinda want more out of this thing. But we're gonna get into that in the future. For now, 720 wheel, beast drives so, so, so good now. Okay, we grabbed some very... We grabbed some very quick pictures of the new rear end. Um, and then we hit the gym, but now we're gonna go pick up Mitchell. He's got a duck bill too on the Miata. His Miata's pretty sick. Um, do you guys wanna see some autocross videos? I plan on doing more autocross in the future. I'm horrible at it, just be aware. If I do make any videos, just know I'm bad. My dad is actually gonna be taking this car, the SS, roll racing tomorrow out at Utah Motorsports Campus. Um, I'm gonna try to convince him to get some footage for you guys. Um, it might just go up on Instagram, but maybe I'll include it in the next video. But yes, right now we're gonna pick up Mitchell and uh, we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into with this SS. Dude, it shifts buttery smooth. We got good news. We're picking up the third squad member for the night, Rakesh, AKA Brock, the trucker. <laughs> but he's gonna buy an SRT. He's gonna buy another Charger or Challenger. We're gonna make it happen. If you want Brock to buy a Charger, comment down below. Make it a Hellcat. Listen, you guys, do I feel bad for the guy? Absolutely, that's horrible, and he, I hope he's okay. The accident really wasn't that bad. I don't feel like anybody really got hurt. Um, and if we would have pulled over, if we, if there would have been a good spot for us to pull over and check on him, I definitely would have, like, like all jokes aside. But, I mean, you should have seen the way this guy cut us off. I wish we would have been recording. Uh, he shot a gap. Um, and then all of a sudden we hear some tire screeching and the next thing you know we see some sparks. Guys up on two wheels on the on-ramp. That actually could have ended, like all jokes aside thinking about it now, it could have ended very, very bad for him. He almost rolled his car. He almost rolled the car and then people getting on the on-ramp almost hit him. Uh, so we are actually going to go see if he's okay. That's actually a pretty scary situation. We've all been there. We've all sent our cars a little too hard. So there he is, he's okay. There's, I don't see any cops, any ambulances or anything like that. They've got some help there though, so that's always good. But uh, definitely a little bit scary. Just be careful out there. Don't drive like a clown. It can be fun sometimes, but don't drive like a clown. All right, update, live update alert. Ambulance. We got an ambulance at the scene and we also have a cop car. Well, well, well. So we got some help. Now we 
He's going to driving school. He's going to need to go to driving school for sure, and he's definitely going to need to maybe, like, I don't know, go to Les Schwab. Go see Mitchell at Les Schwab, get his tires fixed. <laughs> and his tow rods and probably his control, control arms. arms. Dude, I mean, we saw sparks flying from this guy's car. That could have been very bad. Be safe out there. He gets on the on ramp like right here. We hear some tires scratching, a little bit of action. Nails the curb, <laughs> sparks flying. He flips around perpendicular in the lane. We've got other cars coming. We're like up there at the light, so we it's all behind us. Um, yeah, and then he just pulled off to the side. There was a little bit of debris in the road earlier. So we don't really know. We don't really know what's going on. We really do hope he's okay, but like, dude sent it around. He sent it around that corner. I want to know what kind of damage was done. His wheel's probably like this right now. <laughs> like, that's scary. That could have been bad. Because you can see the center section there. He hit right there. Oh, there's damage for sure. Yep. We got like debris right there. I think they got most of it out of the road though. Put this on a Nissan commercial. He's safe. <laughs> He's safe. It's a good thing Nissans are safe. But yeah, so that was eventful. Um, we're gonna go hop in, get get some grub, a little bit of Denskays, a little bit of Denny's. They cleaned him up, cleaned up the crasher. Yeah, crasher, hash ringing slasher. The hash, hash ringing slasher. That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here. Let me in.